Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we will be doing an abstract alcohol ink background with an Arabic calligraphy motif on it. So I'm using my round canvas over here and the first step is to prep the canvas so it will be suitable enough for the alcohol inks to float. For prepping, I'm using this acrylic medium which is also known as gesso. And we will be working in layers. I will be adding um, two to three layers of this medium and you need to wait at least 30 minutes between each layer. After adding multiple layers and blending the primer, we will now switch to the acrylic white color and I'm just adding a single layer of this color. We don't need to layer too much, so a single layer would be enough. And we need to make sure that we blend the paint really well and there are no blobs of the paints on the canvas. You need to make sure after blending you should be giving enough time for your canvas to dry before you start adding your alcohol inks. So once my canvas is dry, now I'm using my isopropyl alcohol and my alcohol inks which is from brand Mirabu. I will be pouring my isopropyl alcohol in a disposable cup which is quite easier for me to work with. On my dried canvas, I am adding a little bit of my isopropyl alcohol. Over it, I will be adding some drops of my inks. So they will be having some medium to float. Now I'm just moving the canvas with my hands. Just a little bit space for the inks to float. Now I'm using my heat gun. And this is perfect for um, letting the alcohol inks to float and create some shapes and lines. You can also use a hairdryer for this purpose. So this particular process does not have any rules. You just have to be creative and let yourself experience with the mesmerizing process of working with alcohol inks. So just in case you have a lot more of the inks in one particular space, you just need to add the isopropyl alcohol in that space because it works as a medium to blend well. So 
so this is going to be the final look of my background and now i will be moving forward to the arabic calligraphy over here i have already sketched a minimal motif of name allah so now i'm using my gold leaf adhesive which is also known as a metal or gold leaf size it is available in quite many brands the one that i use is from mount mart i will be leaving that in the description well i'll be leaving all the supplies in the description for you so i'm just using my flat brush to cover up all the spaces that i've sketched For the smaller areas, I'm using my detailing brush and it is quite easier for me to uh, work with a detailing brush in such tiny spaces. So once you're done applying your adhesive to all the areas that you have sketched, you should now be leaving it to dry completely for about 30 to 40 minutes and it will be completely transparent just like this and there are no white spaces left. So this is the perfect point to add your leaves. So I just added a poll on my Instagram stories recently to get your suggestions about selecting the leaf for this specific background. So most of you have voted about the silver leaf. So I'm over here using the silver leaf. And I myself found that the silver leaf is complementing well to this background instead of the gold or copper leaves. So you need to cover up all the spaces that are sticky and have glue on. You just need to tear the extra leaf and you just need to cover up all the sticky spaces. It might take some time and patience. So once you're done adding the leaf on all these sticky areas, you need to take a dry soft brush which is um, perfect to work with the delicate leaf. Now I'm just rubbing over the excess parts to get rid of the leaf on all those areas which I don't need that. You need to be really patient and delicate in this step because you're not going to rub it vigorously because it might damage the leaf on the areas which you need that on. And I will also be adding a hack that I use to get rid of the excess leaf that might get stuck on the background due to some stickiness. So um, over here, if you see, I have some spaces that have excess leaf, but I don't need that. So for that, I'll be using a tape. This is the tape that I'm using. And I'm just using it to get rid of the excess leaf. So this is the final look of our painting. I hope you like it and if you like it, please do give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for some new upcoming content and have a great day. Bye bye!